today's look is this very smoky, very glamorous, classy, smoky eye look. Um, this is a look that I go to mainly around the holidays. I do wear this year round. However, if I do wear this in, you know, sometime throughout the year, I don't always pair it with a red lip. I kind of feel like this lip, especially with this dark smoky eye, and then you're going to put like a bright cherry lip on. It's just so glamorous and so holiday appropriate. This is my go-to look, like I said, especially during the holidays to go to holiday parties or holiday events. I've worn this on Christmas Day before. It's just a very classy, dark, smoky eye. It's also got a really, really pretty shimmer to it. It's just, it's gorgeous. Anybody can wear it. As you can see, this look is very dark. So with that being said, when you start this look, this is another look. I know I've been giving you guys a lot of like smoky lately, but it's just that time of year and this is these are like my go-to looks for the fall season. Um, but this is another look that's going to look incredibly messy until you clean it up and blend it out. However, it is not difficult to accomplish. Anybody can wear it. This is another look that you can choose whatever lip that you want to wear with it. I just... I love a red lip with this look just because it is so dark and it is so smoky and it is a holiday look for me and nothing says holiday look better than like a bright red lip. Um, I do wear this look throughout the year when I do wear it throughout the year. Sometimes like I'll put like a bright purple lip on with it or even like a really pretty nude. Um, you can wear whatever lip that you want to with it. This is just a super fun holiday look. I hope you guys love it. If you want to learn how to do it, keep watching. If you like this look, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys. Okay, so my eyes are already primed and the first thing that I'm going to do is go in with my 35N palette by Morphe and use these two colors right here. We're going to mix them together on any big fluffy blending brush. Mine is by Morphe. I can't even remember the number of this brush. I will list it below. With this shade, you're basically putting this down because our lid is going to be so dark, you don't want to work that dark color too high up. And this shade right here is going to prevent us from doing that. So you just want to keep that really, really tight and low in your crease and just do those back and forth motions. Next, I'm going in with this really creamy black liner by NYX. You can use this for so many different things. I use this for a lot of my Halloween makeup this year, um, but I mainly use this as an eye primer when I'm doing a dark eye like this. So as you can see, you want to apply it all over your lid and then just take any synthetic blending brush and buff this all over. Next, you want to set that just because it is so creamy that it will kind of smear and smudge. So I am setting this with that black shadow that I pointed to in my Morphe 35N palette. However, any black shadow that you can do. I will say though, this black shadow is the most pigmented black shadow I have ever had in my life. Next, you're going to go in with any goat hair blending brush in that gray shadow that I just pointed to, and you're just, again, going to only do back and forth motions. Don't worry about this falling down onto the lid because we will go in and intensify the lid when we are done with this step. Basically, right now, you are just wanting to blend out this black the best that you can, and in the meantime, not blend that any higher up. So only back and forth motions. Then you want to go back in with that very first brush that you use and kind of just blend that color out even better and then you go in and intensify your lid so I'm going to go in and do that same exact thing to the second eye we are going to clean up this under eye area however the next shadow that we're going in with is basically just like a pressed glitter pigment and we are going to get a lot of fallout from that so you want to wait to clean up that under eye area until you're done with everything just because you would have to clean it up twice if and you can really see how much of that gray shadow I'm allowing to fall down onto my lid just because, like I said, you do go in and intensify your lid color after this, but you want this eye to be as seamless as possible. A lot of times when you when people do a black eye, you can see that the black is pulled too far up, and that is why. You only want to do the back and forth motions with your brush and keep that color as tightly as you can in that crease. After that, I did go back in with a little bit of that NYX and 
the NYX, that black NYX liner and I only applied that to the center part of my lid. And then after that, you are going to go in with this pre pressed pigment by MAC. It is called Jet Couture. It is just a really metallic-y, silvery, black pressed pigment. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is my favorite part about this look just because it's so shimmery and so sparkly and so beautiful. After that, I did go in and put my falsies on. I'm sorry I forgot to show you guys but they are just the Ardell um, Ritzies is the name of these. Um, and I did go in, obviously, and clean up that under eye area. You wanted you want to make sure that you keep this eye looked very rounded out. So I basically just angled the shadow up. Base, I used the last lash of my bottom lash line, um, and I angled it up from there. After that, I went in and I applied my foundation all over. I really didn't have anything to do today, so I just did go in with my L'Oreal Magic Lumi. And then after that, I am using this concealer. I have been obsessed with this concealer lately. I do have other favorites. However, as far as my favorite concealer from a drugstore, as of right now, this is it. This is something that you guys recommended to me. I absolutely love it. It does not crease on me. It gives me awesome coverage. It's not too matte. It's not too dewy. I just absolutely love it. After that, I I do go in and blend out all the areas that I highlighted my face and as usual I did it just straight down the middle of my nose and a little bit in the center of my forehead underneath that eye area um, and I do put a concealer on my cupid's bow and then on my chin just to continue to bring more attention to my face the center of my face now today I'm going to be using a technique it is not new but it is really popular right now and it is called baking I I am considering uploading a video just to show you guys what baking is all about, but it's basically you just put a, a lot of loose powder on anywhere you highlight and just let it sit for a little bit. I did my eyebrows, as you can see, while mine sat, and then I went in and I removed all that extra powder, and now I am doing my waterline with a black eyeshadow. On myself, I love using a black or a shadow on my waterline just because my eyes tend to water a lot, and when I use a shadow, it I don't get that runniness with an eyeliner. And then I just took that same black shadow that I used for my waterline on a precision brush and I just tight lined my bottom lashes. After that, I picked up this. It's really not a pencil brush. I use it as a pencil brush. It is a brush by, that I just ordered by Morphe. I absolutely love it. And you're going to go back in with this brush and that gray eyeshadow that we use to blend the black out. And you're just going to buff out your under eye area. Now I'm going in and I'm doing my brow bone and I am using the shadow Mylar by MAC. This is a really pretty white shadow. It's it's white, but it's not too super pigmented and at the same time, it's not too frosty either. So I absolutely love this shadow for this look. Now I am going in and I am doing my contour and I wanted to look really bronzy today. So I just decided to use my bronzer. It is the Refined Golden Bronzer by MAC. Um, and that is what I am using to contour today. And I am contouring in all my normal spots along my um, cheekbone area and on the sides of my head from um, the sides of my forehead and of course on the sides of my nose. Now I'm going in and I am doing my blush. This is a really pretty, it's like a purpley pink blush by MAC. It is called Flirt and Tease. I did not want to go too cool tone or too warm tone with my blush today just because my eyes are cool tone and then your lips are going to be super red. Um, so that's a warm tone. So I kind of wanted to keep it in between and that is why I went in with this purpley pink blush. After that, you're just going to go in and completely fill in your lips with any red lip liner. And now I am going in with the lipstick by MAC in the shade Brave Red and I am just completely filling my lips in with this. And this is what really pulls this look together and really makes it look like a holiday look. You could apply any color lipstick like I said with this, but if you're going for like that holiday glamorous smoky eye, a red lip is going to be perfect with it. After that, I just did a small coat of mascara on my bottom lashes and I am going in and using this highlighter today. This is my Physician's Formula highlight Highlighter. It's more of a cool tone highlight. And then I went in and set everything and I am finished. I hope you guys absolutely loved this look. I know I loved creating it for you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.